Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Aaron Pratt, and I am the Joint Technology Transfer Initiative, or JTTR Program Coordinator. I'm giving this presentation on behalf of Chandra Kundragunta, the Program Manager for JTTI. In this presentation, I'll give an overview of the JTTI program, its history and mission, and the role it plays in transitioning critical research into operations. Our team consists of Dr. Chandra Kondragunta, the JTTI program manager, a deputy program manager position that's currently vacant, and myself. We are also grateful to have the support of Dr. Enrique Alves from the EPIC team and Dr. Valbona Kunkel from the ArtX application team. So what is the primary mission for JTTI? The primary mission of the JTTI program is to fund, support, and accelerate the transition of matured research from across the weather enterprise to improve the operational efficiency and performance of the National Weather Service. JTTI ensures that there is continuous and cost-effective transition of the latest scientific and technological advances into the National Weather Service. Historically, promising research has encountered significant challenges to effectively transition to National Weather Service operations. These pervasive challenges have been given the moniker, the Valley of Death. The JTTI's charge is to cross and bridge this Valley of Death. Why was JTTI created and how has it grown and evolved? JTTI was created to fulfill the need for designated research and development funding to ensure that new and innovative technologies are able to transition from research through the development and demonstration stages and ultimately into National Weather Service operations. The JTTI program was created by the Consolidated Appropriations Act of 2016. The agreement adopts House language regarding the Joint Technology Transfer Initiative and provides $6 million for this purpose. The Weather Act was passed in 2017. Congress appropriated an additional $4 million above fiscal year 2016 for fiscal year 2017. In November 2017, OEC, which housed JTTI, helped organize and chair the NOAA Research to Operations Operations to Research Workshop. The initial efforts towards standing up JTTI began to bear fruit in 2018, with the first academic project funded by JTTI transitioning into National Weather Service operations. The year 2019 saw JTTI contributing 5.4 million towards the initial efforts of standing up the EPIC program. In 2020, WPO, via JTTI jointly funded the Unified Forecast System Research to Operations or UFS or to O project with the National Weather Service. By this point in time, 11 JTTI funded projects had transitioned into National Weather Service operations. 2021 saw the transition of enhancements to the extratropical surge and tide operational forecast system or ESTOFs to the National Ocean Service. By this point in time, 14 total JTTI projects had transitioned into operations by this point. JTTI hosted an internal NOAA competition to accelerate transition of previously funded research activities into National Weather Service operations. 17 total projects had transitioned over to National Weather Service operations by this point. JTTI actively supports projects in the social science and facets arena, as well as efforts in artificial intelligence and machine learning. JTTI accomplishes its mission of crossing the divide between research and operations through several activities starting with collaborating with the National Weather Service to identify requirement gaps for operations. JTTI aims to select and fund the most promising interdisciplinary projects that have a high potential for transition to National Weather Service operations and can fill those requirement gaps. 
The program fosters early and consistent collaboration between researchers and operational entities early in the transition process. Finally, JTTI serves as knowledge brokers to external project investigators on NOAA's transition process. The JTTI program follows NOAA's 2016 Administrative Order on Research and Development Transitions. Research to operations transition plans are recommended by this order for all projects above readiness level four. These plans represent an agreement between research and operational entities on a feasible pathway for transfer of research and development to operations. JTTI, since its inception, has required transition plans for all projects funded by the program. As mentioned in the previous slide, JTTI works to foster collaboration between the research entity and the National Weather Service early in the transition process. This is accomplished through the following steps. Step one, JTTI requests that potential investigators identify project collaborators and a receiving office early in the proposal development process. We then work with the National Weather Service in identifying a point of contact for the receiving office once a project has been funded. JTTI then facilitates collaboration between the receiving office point of contact and the research investigators in developing a transition plan. Finally, JTTI reviews the transition plan with the receiving office portfolio manager and prepares the pathway for approval with the line office transition manager and at the assistant administrator level. JTTI employs a rigorous monitoring process ensuring progress through the research to operations funnel. Matured research funded by JTTI starts with a readiness level of between four and eight. Project reviews and progress reports are submitted to JTTI at regular intervals. JTTI management and National Weather Service POCs work closely together and meet regularly to ensure progress. Project progression down the funnel is measured by increases in readiness levels. JTTI is the first NOAA program to use readiness level to track transition progress of its funded projects. JTTI funds interdisciplinary research to operations projects across the span of weather research. JTTI contributions have accelerated interdisciplinary research operation efforts in NOAA, such as in the areas of artificial intelligence, air quality, data assimilation, facets and social science, hydrology, observations, the unified forecast system or UFS and other modeling systems. JTTI has both internal and external competitions. Internal competitions are restricted to no investigators and are usually for accelerating mature research, sometimes previously funded, that are short of the necessary resources to complete the transition process. External competitions provide resources to external entities such as academia and the private sector via competitive grants solicited through the WPO Notice of Funding Opportunity. 76% of projects that JTTI has funded since its inception are from the external community, which truly integrates the larger weather enterprise and the NOAA research operations process. This slide represents a broad, simplified overview of the JTTI research operations implementation and consists of the following steps. Step one, the Notice of Funding Opportunity and Competition Priorities are developed in close collaboration with WPO leadership and the National Weather Service. Step two, proposal review consists of two stages, a relevance review, a technical review. Step three, points of contact are selected in close collaboration with the National Weather Service. Transition plans are drafted with assistance from the National Weather Service points of contact. JTTI reviews transition plans. Once accepted by JTTI, 
The transition plan is signed by the point of contact and receiving office director, the WPO director, the line office transition managers, and the assistant administrators of the National Weather Service and OER. Step four, prior to operational testing, projects can utilize test beds and proving grounds to give potential end users a chance to test and influence development. And in step five, the National Weather Service controls the operational implementation of the research project. This graphic is a more detailed version of the previous slide and show the specific entities that JTTI works with for its research to operations implementation process. JTTI, WPO, the National Weather Service, and the larger community all work closely together throughout this process. From coordinating competition priorities to transition plan development and progress monitoring and testing and evaluation for projects. The ultimate end prize for this process and the primary validation of all of us working together is the successful implementation of a funded research project into National Weather Service operations. JTTI strives to improve this implementation process year over year, making it easier for promising research to make its way into National Weather Service operations. JTTI works to enable a weather ready nation across several frameworks within NOAA. For example, JTTI supports projects that span the entirety of unified forecast system modeling components as seen in the modeling framework block. JTTI also contributes to testing within test beds and proving grounds for both external and internal projects, as well as operational testing for internal projects of UFS components for National Weather Service modeling operations. On the products and services side, JTTI funds artificial intelligence and machine learning and other tools that post-process unified forecast system model data. Finally, JTTI supports the development and improvement of National Weather Service forecasting tools, products, and services. JTTI is the bridge builder that has provided a path for efficient and effective transition of weather research. JTTI has been a leader in transitioning an artificial intelligence machine learning tool to National Weather Service operations. This transition took place prior to the implementation of the previous administration's AI initiative. JTTI also looks to actively support its fellow programs within WPO working jointly to support the transition of social science, facets, and relevant UFS community modeling efforts with EPIC. In conclusion, JTTI has not only crossed the valley of death, but has built a strong and sustainable bridge so others can cross the valley of death. I look forward to answering more of your questions during this review. Thank you.